Welcome to 5 News Online. I'm Joe Ellison. Several veterans whose cremated remains have been sitting for years at a funeral home will soon be laid to rest. The Missing in America Recovery Project is a nonprofit that was started in Idaho back in 2006. One of the organization's volunteers found a Fort Smith funeral home that has the cremated remains of 55 unclaimed people. After extensive research from the organization, they discovered five are veterans veterans and one is a spouse of a veteran. Those six will be laid to rest during a funeral at the Fort Smith National Cemetery in March. Volunteer Gina Gustafson says it warms their hearts that they're able to do this. Being in a veteran family like we are, even though we're not veterans, um, that's all we care about is making sure that the veterans get what they deserve. They put their lives on the lines for us, for our freedom, and they deserve way more than this. So we're just very humbled and grateful that we're able to do this and give them a final resting place. The organization is still in the process of working to see if more of the remains belong to veterans. They invite the public to come to the funeral service at the Fort Smith National Cemetery. That'll be on March 4th at 11 a.m. Now, before we get to other top news, let's check in with weather meteorologist Michelle Trotter joining us for a look at this sunshine. Hey, Michelle. Yeah, hey, Joe. We have a lot of sunshine on top for the rest of the week. Temperatures today will actually warm to the 60s and then even the mid-60s across the River Valley. Beautiful Wednesday in store for us. We do have a couple cold fronts that are going to push through this week. A lot of them will be dry. We have a 20% chance of rain with our cold front Saturday. But tomorrow's cold front that's going to push through tomorrow morning will be a dry front. It will bring us cloud cover, but that cloud cover will quickly clear by Thursday afternoon. So this is going through Friday. You can see clear skies. There's that cold front pushing through Saturday morning. This cold front will really drop our temperatures down for this, this weekend. Basically, for the next few days, we'll be in the 50s, even the mid-60s by Friday. And then that huge drop in temperatures with that cool front to the 30s and 40s for the start of the weekend. And then after that, though, we're going to start to warm back up to the 50s and 60s as we head into next week. Also mentioned next week is Valentine's Day on Monday. We have gorgeous weather in store, mostly sunny skies. Temperatures will be in the 50s and 60s for highs. So if you have any plan or plans indoors or outdoors, you're looking pretty great. Here's the next seven days. That Saturday cold front will bring about a 20% chance of rain for both Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley, a little bit of cloud cover, but basically for the next seven days, very minimal rain chances, a lot of sunshine and warmer temperatures for the rest of this week, Joe. All right, thanks so much, Michelle. We're going to enjoy that sunshine. Colby Fulfer is now Senator-elect in Arkansas. The Republican beat Democrat Lisa Parks by just 34 votes. Less than 1% separates these two. The special election was to fill the District 7 state Senate seat. It was vacated by the resignation of Lance Eads and covers parts of eastern Washington County. And de-icing solutions can cause expensive rust damage to vehicles. And we just had a weather event last week that makes this important to us. AAA says drivers may now face expensive vehicle repairs from rust damage and the chemicals used to de-ice roadways. AAA advises motorists to be proactive to prevent dangerous rust-related vehicle damage to those brake lines, fuel tanks, exhaust systems, and other critical vehicle components. Now, here's what you should do. They say frequently wash your vehicle. Paying particular attention to the undercarriage, this will loosen, dissolve, and neutralize de-icing solutions. Many uh, drive through car washes offer, offer an undercarriage wrench, rinse option, just like you saw there. AAA says they put out the warning because just last week they assisted over a thousand Arkansans with general tows, battery service, flat tires and vehicle extractions. Well, those are some of your top headlines on this Wednesday. Catch up with us again right here at your 5 News Online. I'm Joe Ellison. Have a great day.